Alright, so I'm looking to uh, clean up my plenum here on my 350Z. Um, see if I can get some decent light on here. So, it's not bad, it's just dull. Okay, so I took the engine cover off. I'm just going to test box. This sits under the engine cover. So if I mess it up, it shouldn't be a big deal. It's going to be under the engine cover. So I got a few things I'm going to try here. See if I get some less direct light. So it's just dirty, and it's got that uh, aluminum oxide on it. So I'm going to do my best to see if I can polish it up. I got a sheet here, so I don't fling too much stuff. And then when I work in the upper part uh, there, I'm going to uh, put, you know, just readjust the sheet. So and I'm going to do this without moving the strut bar. If you want to move the strut bar, you can. I'm just worried about if I don't put it on exactly the way it was, then. Um, can mess up the alignment if it's too tight because it does actually put strain, you know, it presses on the strut. Then if I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. If you want to take the strut cover off, um, you can. Uh, the only thing I would tell you, which from what I've learned, so you have to, I believe you loosen this one, pushes this back, and then this one actually turns these threads into the bar to take the strain off of this, and then you undo the bolts and stuff on either side, okay? I'm not doing that. If you want to, go for it. All right. Okay, so this is what I'm using to do this here. Let me turn this off. All right, they just cleaned our garage down here, so they got fans going. All right, so I have this. Um, let's see if I can see this. Terrible lighting down here, I'm sorry. Um, this is this uh, Meg's. Our mother's mag aluminum polish. I have just a brush to kind of do some general cleaning up. I have a few different uh, Scotch Brite pads. The purple one is the most aggressive, so we'll see how those work. WD-40. I read on a forum the WD-40 and brass brushes. I have brass, vinyl, and steel. I won't be using the steel. I think it's just too hard. We're using the vinyl and the, um, or nylon, I'm sorry, nylon brushes and then uh, brass there. But I've heard that the WD-40 with brass cleans up cast aluminum really well. And then a whole bunch of microfiber rags. So I'm going to give these a shot and um, we'll see how these do. Okay, so this, I'm going to kind of cut this in half. This section I'm going to do with uh, WD-40 nylon brush. This is the blue scotch pad. This is the least abrasive. So we'll just see how that goes. And I'm going to go slowly and slowly more abrasive. The brass brush is probably the last thing I'm going to do just because um, it's so abrasive I don't want to, I guess, ruin it. So here we go. You can see it's taken some of the oxidation off there. Okay, so I'm going to bring this around. I'm sure this camera's terrible, I'm sorry. And the lighting's bad. So if you look at that, compared to that, I mean, it looks shinier. So that's turning out pretty good. I'm going to do the, um, the mag wheel cleaner on this side, so we'll see what difference that makes here. Stand okay, by. so next we're going to do the mag wheel cleaner. Got a microfiber rag and cleaner. And we're just going to start kind of putting it on here pretty liberally here. It's already, <laughs> this was pretty dirty I guess. I didn't really give it a good cleaning with an all-purpose cleaner before I started this, but I figured if I'm scrubbing it, that all that dirt should come off. Alright, so I'm just going to put this stuff on and let it sit just for a little bit here.
Okay. It's been about 30 seconds. I'm going to give this just a little bit of an agitation here with the nylon brush. Not nearly as nice, and I think the secret is this brush here. I think the brass brush is what's giving it that real nice shine. So, I'm going to get this over here to you here. I don't know if you can see this on the camera, but this looks still pretty dull. And that's very shiny where I had the WD-40. So I think it might be um, that this is actually meant for um, cast wheels that are already slick and shiny. I don't know if it's because this is warm. I mean, I can hold my hand here all day, so it's warm, but not at all hot. So I'm going to do this whole section, the W40. I might give this, I'm going to try one more time to do this with the brass, use the brass to kind of agitate okay, this. So I'm actually going to put this on with my finger so it's on really, really thick. And I'm going to actually give it a shot with the uh, scouring pad, the most aggressive scotch, the purple scouring pad here. Let that sit on there, kind of agitate it a little bit here. Now I'm so impressed with how that WD-40 turned out. I think it's probably the brass brush is what's doing most of the work, if I'm being honest with you. I'm going to take my brass or my purple scotch scouring pad and just give this a real good scrubbing here. Yeah, it's really not doing the same as the. Um, I wonder if it is just the straight, just the brass. So, I'm going to put just a dab of this on, and I'm going to work it in with the brass brush and see if that's what's doing the magic. Brass here. brush. Now that it's turning to a black, so I mean, it makes me feel like it's pulling something up. So that is better, but I gotta say, the feel the WD-40 was better. If you just look at the shininess here. And again, I don't know if this is showing up. You look at that compared to that. That is much shinier than that. Let's see if I can get a better lighting here compared to that. Trying to do the same angle of lighting. Now, I am noticing the more I do this, this is very shiny it's just a darker metallic look this is very very shiny not polished obviously it's cast it's rough it's a rough cast but this is shinier than this so I think I'm gonna do the wire brush with the WD-40 and this whole thing should look a lot better okay so I'm gonna do this whole section with this WD-40 I'm gonna try not I don't want WD-40 dripping all down on the engine so trying to keep this as clean as I can so I'm going to do this whole section in WD-40 and then um, see where we're at before I start on the part that you actually do see. So. Alright, so I moved the sheet, so now I'm going to start on this main area here.
All right, I'm gonna just work on this a little further. It's not really fun to just watch me do this, so I'm gonna oh, keep scrubbing at this, and uh, we we'll better. All right, I've worked on it even further, and now you can see. Hopefully, you can see the camera shows the difference. This is the old. That is the new. See if I can get new old so in person it looks great I don't know if the camera's picking it up but trucking along slowly but surely this looks a lot better I couldn't get way down by that nut there just to the right my brush couldn't get down in there but I mean it's an improvement and this thing is not going to any car shows to win awards so it looks good improvement is improvement all right, gonna keep trucking along okay. here. Well, I found a use for the mag cleaner. Okay, so this is all polished or, or brushed with the WD-40 and the brass uh, brush. But I used this stuff, and I noticed that it turned black. Which anyone who uses this know that it turns black to take and that tarnish coming out of the metal. To the best of my knowledge, that's my understanding. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. But I noticed that no matter how clean it looked, I kept getting black out, but it was less and less. And I noticed that gives it a really good shine. So what I do is I take, just take my finger, and I just rub it on, kind of agitate it, and I got all down inside here. And when you rub it off, rub it really hard, lots of elbow grease, and it takes the uh, tarnish out and leaves this beautiful shine. So I'm almost done here, and I'll show the final product when I'm finished. Okay, so... Now, I haven't used this stuff much. I've never had a car with mag wheels, so my stupidity, uh, I apologize for my stupidity. So, I think I found out why it was so dull when I tested it on this test spot. So, I've already spread it on there. So, when you wipe it off, give it a good, see if I can set this camera down so I'm not shaking it like crazy. Oh, I guess you can, you can deal with it. All right. So the why it looks dull is because it's like a wax. So like that didn't look that dirty. But look at everything that came off of there. Okay. Now I'm gonna switch over to a clean side of the rag. And watch how much dirt still comes off of this thing. Because it's like a wax where it leaves it'll leave like a a hazy film on it. See? Look how much still came off of there. And if I turn this over to a clean spot, I will get even more. You have to, it's almost, it's like, a, I, mean, I guess it is a polish, I guess. But you just keep flipping it over until you get, see, look at it, still taking stuff off of here. And I'm not going underneath the strut bar. I already addressed that. If you want to do that, feel free. Alright. Give me a sec. Okay, so uh, now look at the shine that that thing has on it. I hope this thing isn't just over saturated. I'm gonna see if I can get a little less direct light here. But I mean, it just looks just so much better than it did. And I have been doing this for about two hours. And I even uh, put some of the polish down in there. Get that light around here. Polish down in there. Which 
try to clean those out. And they're not perfect. I am, I'm aware this is not, I'm not a professional detailer. But that looks just gobs better. So uh, I think I'm going to call this the finished product. Um, I'm going to go over it a little bit more with the polish, but I mean, oh, my back is killing me. This car's low. Um, I'm going to go over it a little more with the polish. A couple, you know, dull spots kind of over on the left side there, but I mean, this thing looks just amazingly better. So uh, you don't need to spend hundreds of dollars getting it professionally polished or spend days doing it yourself. Um, yeah, if I could get this to a high chrome-like shine, I would be happy to, but I, I just don't have the time for it, really. Or the patience, or the tools, or the space. I mean, I'm in an underground parking here in my condo, so. All right, so I'm going to hit up a few more spots with the polish, try to get those shiny, and then uh, call it a day here. All right. All right, so hit up a couple of the dull spots, touched up this area here. Um, but I'm just going to show you something. This looks clean. I've gone so many times. What I'm doing at the very end, taking a clean rag, and just giving a one good run over of the whole thing. All right. And look, there's still a little bit of, I don't know if you can see that, too much light. There's still a little stuff on there. Because this stuff takes that tarnish out like you wouldn't believe. So we'll see how long this lasts before it tarnishes again. I'm hoping next time I can just take a little bit of that uh, cleaner and some of that MAGA wheel cleaner just kind of touch it up. Because, man, I don't, don't want to spend two hours on this thing every year or whatever. Hopefully, next time I just take a little bit of the MAGA cleaner, put it on there, and Give it a good scrub, but get this. Oh, another thing I would recommend. I bought this pack. Oh my gosh, my knees are killing me. I bought this pack of microfiber towels. I'm glad I did because, I mean, this stuff just filthy. I mean, look at this thing. This is what was coming off of that stuff after I had uh, done the um, brass bristle brush. I mean, just look at the gunk that came off of there. And that's what that polish is for. It takes all that tarnish out. And I guess I've never used it before, so I was kind of really unaware how it works. So the knob is here. But, I mean, look at, look at that. It's all... I am considering these disposable. I'm tossing all these. Um, this is a 20 pack. I think so it's eight I'm going to do a little recap here. What you need: microfiber towels. You need a brass bristle brush. This thing's pretty pretty used. Yeah, just to throw a little bit of life in it, maybe. WD-40. And I use this mother's mag and aluminum polish. It's the kind of the pasty kind of a very it's a very um, light paste. Um, and look, I didn't use all of it. I mean, I could easily clean this thing probably three or four more times with this container. So I think this was six, six or seven bucks. The WD-40 I had laying around. Like I said, these were eight, just under nine bucks. And uh, this three pack, which you wouldn't even need a three pack. I just didn't know what I was going to use. So I think I saw brushes, the wooden version of brass bristle brushes for I think nine cents a piece. So. I mean, you got eight. Let's say this is four. I have no idea how much WD-40 is. I haven't shopped for it in so long. So that's 12. Uh, let's call that 20. You got about 22 bucks um, to really give this thing a real good clean. Uh, definitely worth it. Um, I'm going to put the, there's the engine cover underneath the uh, couple rags there. Um, oh, my gosh. So now you know what to use. I asked uh, one of the... 350Z groups I'm on and no one had done it so I didn't know what to use so I just started buying stuff. Let me get one more good shot of this here and I'll get one more shot once I put the engine cover back on. But I mean my goodness I hope the camera's picking picking that up how good that is. So I'm going to put the engine cover back on and I'll get another shot here. Be back. Alright. 
There is the final product. Um, the engine cover, or the part that I got that's carbon fiber, is that front engine cover. Should be coming sometime next week. That turned out great. Is it perfect? No. Is it way better than it was? Yes. By a long shot.